from two directions. But there was a man that owns a cow. He painted half of the cow white and painted the other half black. One was coming from this side, and one was coming from this side. So the man passed with his cow. The one coming from this side saw a white cow. And the one coming from this side saw a what? A black cow. Then both of them met, and somebody asked them, did you see a cow? They said, yes. Both of them said, yes. They said, what color? This one said black, and the other one said, no, it's white. That one said, no, it's black. There was nothing you want to tell this man that would make him believe he's white. And there's nothing you want to tell this other man that makes him believe he's black. You know, this is my first time in Kenya. And there is nothing you would tell me and say Kenyans are bad. I would never believe. Huh? Because I met the best good man in Kenya. Please celebrate Bishop. Pick up my mom quickly, whatever. 
where you are. Turn with me to Genesis. Please, we are going to be doing Nigeria and Kenya today. Amen. You know, even the president was in Nigeria a few days back. So, but see, doing the same thing here. So, my president sent me here to so do the spiritual set. Amen. Praise God. You just really hear what I say, you'll say amen. Because sometimes I cannot speak exactly like you. I might have been to somebody here. Yes. But to be rest assured, every word that proceeds from my mouth shall be a blessing unto your life. Yes. Are you still here? Yes. Genesis chapter number 22. Christianity is not a religion, it's a way of life. 
Christian, you have to learn how to live that way. Mm -hmm. If you can't live it, you can't become, the Bible says, for we have become partakers of his glory. Partakers. Partakers. We have become partakers of his glory. Although we went through suffering again, but we have not partake. So, so many Christians go through suffering and never partake. Hebrews 10, 35, so cast not a word of this. We shall have a great recompense of the world. For you have need of patience after you have gone to will of that you may obtain the promise. So there is a promise for every child of God, and it is obtainable. Yeah. And that means if you say obtain, for you to obtain, you, you have to take it. So that means you can be a Christian or a child of God and never take it. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, there are funds available for all Kenyans, and when you come, you fill it, you'll be given some money. And people went there and took the form. Why some didn't go? When they are paying those who take the form, they won't pay the who didn't take it. Right. Because you have to go and obtain the form. Yeah. If you want to go to the university, you must go to the university to obtain the form. Right. So the glory of God is obtainable. Yeah. Provoking supernatural increase. For the place where we dwell is too straight for us. Right. And he said, please, we love to increase our capacity. Right. We feel we should be bigger, better, mightier than this. Amen. I may look like my father, but I am not my father. Right. Oh, his name is Benjamin, my name is Michael. Right. So I'm going to live a better life, right. a different life, right. and a greater life. Yeah. And the worst thing that happened is that my father, maybe he may be from Nairobi City, but me, I am from Zion City. Right. <laughs> Oh, there's a little difference between me and him now. Am I talking to somebody here this morning? Provoking and trying to lay foundation. Very soon I'll build what I want to build. Now you need to understand the story. The Bible said Abraham was in his father's house. But in his father's house, he was already blessed. And God called him out of his father's house. Now listen to me. Abraham must be for now be a lover of God. For if he doesn't love God, he has no fellowship with God, there shall be no hearing from God. And I don't know who is here who loves the Lord and who has fellowship with God and who believe in God. For everyone under the sound of my voice, there are certain things we do in life. They put his us from small level into greater level. Ladies, hear this. Men, hear this. Age is just a number. Amen. I really didn't hear that one. Amen. Age. It is a for those of you who are fighting for age, it's just a number. That we all fight for age here. Yeah. Don't you know I'm, I'm older than you? Don't you know I'm older than you? It doesn't make you more blessed than me. Oh, I know you don't know this one. There are those people who increase their age. You are 21, say, how old are you? So if I say 21, everybody will look at me. So we say, I'm 52. <laughs> what are those who reduce their age, especially the footballers, so that they can continue to play? Some have reduced their age to under 21, under 21, until all days, then they never enter the national team. <laughs> Oh, am I saying something wrong here? When I'm saying the truth, you agree with that?
uh, Michael Pilot in US, you have the book reference of her. Uh, all these are also tied to men's wisdom. The greatest wisdom on earth is bundled in a little book. You have it, it's not normal with our wisdom. Oh, I wish I preached to somebody this morning here. And imagine Abraham at the end of over 40, he was still in his father's house. And this man was blessed. And this man had children, uh, servants, and he has cattle, and everything in his father's house. But he was still in his father's house. There are so many of us here in the realm of the spirit, although we don't live with our father, but we are still in our father's house. How are we in our father's house? We are of the same level with everybody. I wish I can wish to somebody here. Do you know there are family where everybody is the same? Everybody is the same. You don't have a doctor, you don't have a bees, all of you are just the same level. Even if you need some help, they need to raise like 50,000 uh, Kenyan shillings. Then, if you call the whole family together, they will be looking at each other. So what did you just say? Say 50,000. They said, bro, this is a, you know my story? <laughs> then you turn around and say, hey, don't look this way, don't look that, just go that way. You don't look, look at me. Then somebody has said, don't even ask that one. The same level. And God said, you can't be working with me and remain at the same level. Yes. Oh, I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. And he spoke to him, come out of their father's house. So he left his father's house. Now, they were not poor in his father's house. They were blessed. And so they are saying family here blessed and something family poor. I'm speaking the truth, so don't, don't try to patronize it. Don't say that we are not poor in Jesus' name. I'm speaking the truth. This is not about Jesus' name now. Everybody is what? Is poor. There are families here where everybody is poor, and there's a family here where you are blessed. And you think you are okay already. But God said, come out of them and let me bless you. And God was saying, let even Lord follow him. And he was being blessed. You know, the worst thing, the, the most terrible person to follow, or the most wrong thing, or the right thing, but in human senses, the most wrong thing to follow is God. A man took his wife, took his luggages, carried everything, and was on his way. And everybody said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to a land of milk and money. Oh, people say, wow, what's that place? He said, um, I don't know yet. <laughs> and you mean you risk all your life for a journey you don't know? Because God told you, God told you, you took all your camel, you took all your cattle, you took all your rams, you carried all your servant, and you risked the life of your wife. You are even taking your cousin with you. That you are following God. Do you know people sometimes look at you that you are very stupid the way you live with God? You know, we're talking about God's beauty now, and there are people who are doing some certain things, and some people think they are fools. Do you know they are wise people here, wiser than themselves? People who are wiser than their own selves. Who knows how to play the wisdom of the earth? Who plays the wisdom of men? And so doing, they deprive themselves of God's blessing and wisdom. And the Bible said, Abraham provoking supernatural increase. Although the man was blessed, but he was following the God who has the ability, the capability and ability to push him from where he is to a greater level. Amen. I came to pray for somebody. After this service, you will live where you are now to a bigger level. Amen. I thought your name would be the largest in this house. And the Bible said, God, for him come, let me bless you. And Abraham was blessed. He was so blessed to a stage that one day again, God told him, he met with Meshizedek. And the Bible called it the priest of the most high God, the king of kings. And Abraham paid the title of everything. When he say everything, he means everything, including what he has not paid for the last 15 years. 
He made a priest that said, This is your tithe. Everything that he has ever given me. There are children of God seated here today with closed heads with no windows open for them. You know, when God wants to open your window, it will be an idea. Oh, I know you understand that one. When God really wants to open your windows, it could be an idea. And the idea will make you so blessed. Just an idea. When God wants to open your window, it could be a handshake. Just a handshake. That is all. That is all. I have a friend who's church. The man was possible. He was at a plane. And then he, he just looked at the man by himself and shook the man. He said, oh, God bless you. The man said, I'm born again. He said, I'm a preacher of the gospel. Oh, the man said, that is good. I'm a preacher. I'm a Christian. And I love preacher. Then he said, are you doing anything? He said, no, I'm trying to start a project. Baby. The man said, can I be a pastor? A partner who is almost finishing a few projects. Just a handshake. But he has done the will of God. He has done the will of God. Then he got the blessing. He paid the tithe of all. And she said that blessed him. That means he was more blessed than he was. Oh, no man desire more than this anymore. No man will pray for more than this anymore. If you look like the man who said to himself, I have acquired everything to myself, I have passed and I don't need to work again. Sit down and eat and enjoy till you die. No need for God, no need for anything. And I was say, God calling the what? Oh, thank you. You are right with that. What is God calling? As of this level, you think you need nothing, you are a fool before you. I need to be increased. I need better. I need to be better than this. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. And the word of God said, Abraham always, always, the number one blessing, he obeyed God's voice by standing up and stand going because God said, come. And he moved. Are you a child of God when he said, go, you don't go? Um, God, if I go now, uh, what happens to my family? Uh, this is my job. And uh, God, I need answers to every question before I take the journey. You know, when Job was asking God questions, just God said, let me ask you some questions. Were you there when I had the foundation of the earth? Do you know where the heavens are suspended? What if the pillars are always there? Just say, hey, I'm so sorry. It's a mistake. I'm not asking you questions. I was only complaining because of my problem. useless this. 
And no matter where you are, we're in Kenya, we're in South Africa, we're in Nigeria, we're in the South Korea, we in all UK from the Ministry of America, you are a citizen of uh, France, wherever you came from, the same Bible. So it shows how powerful. You know, the constitution of Nigeria cannot be the same as the constitution of Kenya. Even the US cannot be the same as that of Britain. But nobody changes this Bible to fit into their system. All systems are set. <laughs> I wish I knew somebody this morning here. And so it's so important for you to understand that blessings and increase are possible from God. Number one thing God said to man when he created him in Genesis chapter 1, 22, he said, Be fruitful and multiply. You know, when they said multiplication, the African man understands it in a wrong perspective. He thought multiplication means I have so much children. No, multiplication means. Become better. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Because if the same thing as uh, I feel so much, they would have used to go replenish the earth. So replenish the earth is just make sure they have children in the earth. They didn't say have many children. Make sure you have a child on this earth, one or two or three. Therefore, I cause badness to die out of anyone barren here. You didn't have me to say anything at all. Child. I wish I had a better living on the earth. Be food, multiply, replenish. Then he said, in case you, you, re you refuse, or the food may refuse to come, but the food refuse to come, and you cannot replenish, then you use the process of you. Then have dominion. He gives you every power to make sure you increase. They told me 25 verse 1 saying, If that will happen unto my voice, I hear this day to do that and observe that which I command you to do. In blessing, I will bless you. And increase, I will increase you. Thy basket shall be full. You shall be blessed the land. You shall be blessed everywhere shall be blessed, including your bank account. Amen. Every time you put your ATM in your, in, in, in your card in your ATM, the first thing you do is to check balance because you are not even trusting the balance. <laughs> And this is the balance you see 1,200 shillings. Then you press 1,000 to renew the 200 shillings. <laughs> if the ATMs are paid uh, 5 shillings, then you'll be pressing for 5 shillings and take it. At always at the zero point. That is the end from today. Because there is an important thing to perform supernatural increase. You can't be a child of God without evidence. And not everyone born in your family. May you be the most blessed person. Promise of 
God will make manifest in your life. I wish you were and I want the way you start up to say amen. Thank you. 
everything you have in your house. I packed everything. Just left the rug. It was a green rug. So my wife said, you people come, where are you going to sit down? And I put a sample in it. They said, the Lord may get us to lie down in green pasture. So this is green rug, all of us to lie down. It's like his father. 
people give everything, one day you will give your lives. But ladies and gentlemen, have become more better. Because when you do certain things, they provoke the heaven. How can you remain small when you have the ability to go up? Is it you? Is it you? How can the word of God not be made manifest in your life? It is time to prove me here with and tell everybody that I gave everything to God and nothing happened. Tell me, I've never seen a man who walks around and say, I've been able to do for God that God could not do for me. I've never seen a preacher say, the only man who said, uh, I've been a preacher uh, and I've done and given to God. You know, most people who are not blessed are preachers who preaches you to do it and never. And the members become blessed and the preacher becomes stranded. And you can't understand why he has blessed member and is not blessed. But our God is not a mock God. But whatsoever I must sweat. I say, what do I understand it? If you have understanding, you become understanding. Can I preach to a living soul here? And God said to him, Give me thy son. This only son you have, give it to me now. And Abraham called his son, called the two servants, let's go. You know what Abraham could have done? Mama, you have one son or two? One. Okay, you know, Bishop would have just come to you. God said we should use our son for sacrifice. We'll go tomorrow morning. I'm telling you now. So, I've told you, I'll be sleeping under that room. You and the son can sleep there. You know what they started? He said before morning, carry the son and what? And run. Then, Mama will not sleep. Carry the son in the morning and run. Then the morning, Bishop will say, God, I want you to give the son. My wife has run away with the son. <laughs> Many a times when we want to give, we go home and call the wife and say, This beauty, which I'm talking about, would have given like uh, 100,000 cities. The wife say, You know, we have not paid this thing. I'm not saying give it to God is wrong. They preach on it. No, I give it to God is wrong, but uh, we still have this astounding base. Uh, as we want to give, we have to consider the children's profits. <laughs> It's okay, okay, what will happen? And since all that is in my mind, I will give it, but for now, I will give five. <laughs> five thousand. Jesus, six hundred thousand was in my mind. I'll give five now, then I'll be giving it gradually. Oh, no wonder. No wonder you have no reason to be angry. And to, you know, the Bible said, in all the blessing he has blessed Abraham, the day Abraham did it, he said, Stop. And told Abraham, now I go. That you fear me and you love me. You could not even withhold that holy soul. But Abraham turned because he said he must give God the sacrifice. He turned and saw him and must still take it and sacrifice it because the sacrifice was the offer. And the Bible said, and God spoke the second time. Read the Bible. The Bible only said God speak once. Once had the Lord spoken twice have I heard. But this was a man who made God to speak twice. He said, for this you are done. I will bless you. He has blessed him. He said, but I will bless you. Everyone in this earth will know that I bless you. Your children will be great. Do you know till today, Abraham's name is still in folk that we even pray that I receive the blessings of Abraham. Right. Let me tell you how blessed that is. Israel is still so proud today as a country to be called the seeds of Abraham. Why? Provocation of blessing. You can't remain small when you have the capacity to be great. I don't want to see you the way I met you now. If I will ever cross your path again before we see, you will be heavily blessed than this in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm in mean, a church where we have people who sell a market, market. Blessed by God. Unbelievable. There's a woman in my church, she said tomatoes in the market. Tomato. That's what she said. When he came to church at first, she was selling tomato. She said, then. The next thing I said that God wants to change it because in a little blessing she keep giving to God. I said God wants to change your capacity. So the first thing that God did for her, she bought a bus. She now goes to where they send the tomatoes. Buy it by herself with the bus. Call, supply and call people and sell her home. Then as I speak to you, she has 13 buses. 13. So a few days back she took me and said, Pastor, come, let's go to somewhere. I followed her. We got to a place. I saw the house she was building. I 
was shocked. I said, you are doing this as, he said, this one I finished the other, I told you that, I have one class, but this one I just want to manage to stay here. <laughs> and he said to me, I want to buy that kind of thing. Uh, oh, if you come to church, you see her, you will think she was with the government or in the bank. She dresses corporate. Wow. Uh, and tomato seller in the market. Yeah. She has an ace, a car with an ace. She will drive to the market, change her clothes, wear market women clothes, sell all the tomatoes, change the bar, enter the car, and on the ace. I'm telling you a little testimony. Time when you give me the tape, I'll give it to them to watch. So I'm not lying. Like, in church, I preach with people. I point you. She said, uh, after I finish the house, that kind of uh, mama's car, uh, that is a car. Right? I said, you know what is in that car? We were talking about a land, a, a proper land cruiser. He said, it's expensive. I told her, I said, yes. He said, if your prayer continues to work like this, what is that small car? <laughs> My faith will be And so many people want to see him. It's 
sons. And so the man who was in charge, going through the gate, saw a name. He saw Akbedi. Then he picked the phone and said, who is Akbedi? Then my father told me. He said, do you know one pastor who books Akbedi? He said, ah, he's my son. I came back to him. And his father said, yes. So he told the man, my father was behind. He would have stayed from morning till night before he can see the speaker. So they told the man going, I said, can you come back? Come and sit down. This man will go first. Then the man said, ah, what happened here? And the people said, if you know whose father is this, you won't say a word. Amen. So when he came, my father said, hey, you're so big now. Has he heard your name? They let me in. Now, my father's name was supposed to give me breakthrough. My name is giving my father breakthrough. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
hear this. I perceive it again strongly the way I felt this one. I saw it in the realms of the spirit as if the Lord was preparing the table for 10 persons. And the Lord said to me that within six hours, either now or six hours, as you are going 10 people, 10 of you, 10 of you, the Lord is putting you to test. He told Abraham, he said, give me thy son. And Abraham, without thinking or asking his wife, did it. There are 10 people here, the Lord is telling me that I should tell you, in the next six hours, do it now, or within six hours, but I pray for you now. I will not be here. That's why you can put somebody here to take the offering from them. You will give 10,000 shillings. This is a test to your faith. The 10 of you run to me. I'm dropping the microphone. I'm calling you in the name of God and I'll pray for you immediately. The 10 of you run to me. Are you part of it? Or just another one? Come to me, those people. I want you. Then, quickly. In the next six hours, the next six hours, that's what I hear in my spirit. 10 of you, the Lord is putting you to test and I provoke it as an anointing of the Lord. If there's a God that is asking me to do this, I provoke it. I saw the watchers. Can you go to the corner? I don't want to watch you now. There's angels standing by there. Except you're standing there, you're not sure. Yeah, just go to that corner, please. Don't stand by anybody. Don't worry about that. There are angels standing behind each of them. Please try not to stand behind somebody. Stand on your own. You can go around the altar. Try not to stand behind anybody. And let no watcher stand behind anybody. Jesus. There are angels behind them. I feel it in my spirit. Please. I'm not taking seats. I would have given you room to pay. This is what I hear in my spirit. And I've called you now. If you know, you cannot do it in six hours. Don't do it by faith. God is asking me you should do it. It should not be more than six hours. Six is the number of a man. And after six hours, the power of God will activate something. There is an increase coming upon you. Oh, look at what the Lord is telling me. There are three persons who are supposed to be here who refuse to move. Even as I'm talking, the thing is telling you, move. Move, but you are refusing. Please, you may never have the opportunity again. It's true. Lift up your head. Say with your mouth, I love you, Lord. I tell them in church that I love the Lord. Even the devil knows I love God. Please don't stand behind anybody. Come to the space on this corner, please. Jesus, six hours. You have it here, you drop it now, or as you go home, make sure you run back. Run back and come and drop that seat. 10,000 Kenya chains. That is what the Lord is doing. Thank you, Allah. Lift up your hands. Bless your people. Everybody lift up your hands. The prayer goes for everybody now. But this one's have put the Lord to test. I don't know your present conditions. I don't know your present situation. But as you are provoked the Lord, as you live here, help you. Heavens are open. The God whom we serve, whom we love with our heart, whom we can do anything for, and that God who is able let it create and cause and provoke increase upon your life. Amen. For your sake, your family will be known. Amen. The Lord bless you be your nature. The Lord lift you up. The Lord shower you with his blessing. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Just touch my hands if you receive something and go. Touch it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Quickly, come, come to me. Come, come and touch me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whatever you are, this is one thing the Lord said to me. I do it with my church every day. Once I finish releasing prophetic words, just take a seed, drop it on the water. The altar is the power of God. Where the voice of God is spoken from. Whether it has on Chile, 500, 200, 150, make sure you drop a seed on the altar. Just drop it. Drop a seed on the altar. Touch it. Everybody do this now. Everybody. There's a few now that come. Don't let this hour expire. This hour will be from Monday when. Please let me know the exact time. I will tell them. If it passes, oh, it's going to be too bad. Please. What is this hour for now? Huh? Two, three? 
420. Please don't allow 4 p.m. to pass you. Do what the Lord has asked you to do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give the Lord a clap of everybody. Has a clap of everybody. Let us go, Chief. Thank you. Make sure you drop an offering on the altar. Everybody. Do this now. This is not your normal offering. This is just a seat. Do that now. Thank you. Thank you. Give the Lord a clap of his honor. Hallelujah. This, this, 